Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Or for those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Connecticut River State Park along the south shore of New York, uh, south shore of Long Island to be more specific. It looks like similar to uh, Harriman State Park where I was just a few days ago when it was peak foliage for autumn. It looks like it's pretty much approaching peak here. So looking forward to some good uh, landscape scenes, woodland scenes. Um, I'm going to visit a spot that I last photographed in spring and hopefully it'll yield just as good a result in the autumn. This is a great spot for bird photography also, but I didn't make my birding lens and I may come back in another day or two just for that. But for now, I'm just gonna concentrate on the, uh, on the, on the foliage, on the uh, landscape and uh, see what we come up with. And actually right now, just in front of me, there's a nice scene of some, uh, well actually those are dead trees from a fire years ago. But uh, I'm gonna come up on another scene in a little bit and uh, see what I can do with it. So let's stick around and we'll be back shortly. So actually I've decided to make this my first composition and actually the light is hitting just right right now and I should probably grab the shot while it ch before it changes. But I will show you the, uh, what I'm looking at Basically, you have the, this is slightly cropped because of the 4K, uh, 4K, but like this, like the road that kind of leads right into this tree, this tree here. And the juxtaposition of this orange tree here, the green tree here, and these dead trees here is just perfect. I'm gonna grab the shot right now. My settings are F9, 1 20th of a second, ISO 100. There's the shot. Um, I'm going to wait and see if the sun hits that tree just a little bit more and whichever way it works out best, you're going to see it right now. I noticed a lot of small songbirds around, probably uh, yellow bumped warblers. They tend to be year-round year residents, although not necessarily the same birds. So the birds that nest locally have migrated, but the birds that nest further up, like in Canada, have migrated down to here for their winter residence. So they can pretty much be found year-round. So uh, I'm gonna keep on walking. There's a patch of woodlands come up on my right side, which I think if the light is right, will work, will work out uh, pretty promising. Well, this is unfortunate. This patch of woods that's right out here a couple years ago was very vibrant and would have set off nicely against the meadow here. But these trees, as you can see, are dead. More than likely, they were killed by invasive insects, either longhorn beetles or spotted, spotted lanternflies or something like that. And uh, I imagine the park will probably take them down shortly to prevent their spread. That's sad. Oh well, got to move on down the trail. So, it turns out all this time I was on the wrong trail. I wound up by some horse farm, so I had to double back and I'm now taking a cross trail that should lead me to the fish hatchery. Well, I am by the fish hatchery at last, and it is beautiful here as I hoped. The uh, foliage is in peak bloom. In fact, they have a nice view right down this uh, little canal here, which I think is going to make a nice shot. So let me set up my camera and I'll walk you through it. So I've aimed my camera straight down this, uh, this canal here towards the bridge that goes across. I'm going to have to focus stack this, but I really like the, just the reflections of the foliage. Um, 
It's, it's, it's a very symmetrical composition. I'm probably going to have to focus that here because if I have these, these over here in focus, well, I won't have background in, I won't have the background in focus. So I'm going to focus stack this. I'm going to start with the middle. And I've got, um, I'm zoomed out to about, what is it, 70 millimeters at ISO 200 F11. And I'm going to take two more shots at least moving forward towards the foreground. And the final result you're going to see right here. Much of my editing for this photo involved cloning out the white sky among the trees and reflected in the water. It wasn't until I crossed the bridge in the distance later that I noticed this guy lost in meditation. I walked right by him and he didn't move. So a guy just told me that just across that little bridge there, there's a good spot for a shot. So I'm going to head over there and uh, see if that works out. Yes, yes, this is exactly the spot I'm looking for. Oh, there's a great blue heron. Uh, anyway, there's the gnarly trees that I, put, that I shot back in a couple of springs ago. Um, the geese on the pond, this is just wonderful. I'm going to grab a shot right here and then go over to where I shot the, the gnarly trees. All right, well, I didn't, ex I didn't expect to grab a wildlife shot here, but I'm going to grab this heron right now. That's one eighth of a second at F11 ISO 200. I'm going to pump my shutter speed up a bit, drop the ice, raise the ISO up to about 800, and do it again. So I'm also now at F11, one fortieth of a second ISO 800. All right, so finally I'm at F8, 160th of a second. ISO, I'm not quite sure because I put it on, on auto and uh, dropped the exposure composition down to minus one stop. So hopefully that'll work out nicely. I didn't even check the polarizer setting, but it looks like it was actually pretty good. So here's the shot. You'll notice in the raw file that there's lots of minute flotsam in the foreground water. It took me a while to remove it all in Photoshop, but the effort was worth it. Well, the sun just broke through and provided some beautiful backlighting to this foliage that's right here, but I uh, missed it while I was recomposing. So I'm gonna wait for it to come back, which it looks like it's about to. And there's the sun. Let me stop down a little bit, grab the shot, F11, 160th of a second, ISO 400, and that's gonna be sweet. This is the gnarly tree that I shot uh, two springs ago. Um, now that the sun is out, actually I'm gonna to have to wait for the clouds to come back to take a better shot of it. And I think when the clouds come, it's gonna look very nice with the foliage, in the, with the red and yellow foliage in the background. I may have to maneuver the camera a little closer just to get a good shot of, these, of, the, of the gnarly uh, trunk and stuff here. But, um, 
I think there's still a shot here, but I'll have to wait until the clouds come back over. All right, I've got it framed up now. I've got it uh, 1 50th of a second ISO uh, 100 and F11. But I'm going to focus stack this since I do have a significant amount of distance, distance from the base of the tree to as far as its farthest trunk. So just to cover my bases. Oh, and I've, and this is going to be the problem because the wind has picked up. And with the wind blowing like that, focus stacking is going to be pretty much impossible. So I may have to just stop down to F11. No, F11, F16. Bump my ISO up to 800. Aim for about the middle of the tree. And hope that that gets enough of this in focus. I'm going to focus stack this anyway, seeing as the breeze is just now set down, and maybe I can get away with it. But no. I think that's it. Hopefully one of these shots will be in focus, and if it is, you'll see it right now. Ultimately, focus stacking didn't work. This is a single exposure taken at F-16. It seems to work pretty well. These woods are just so wonderful. I mean, I can just stop and take a shot almost anywhere, point my camera anywhere, and get something worth keeping. But I'm gonna Keep walking and see if I can find a composition that's really outstanding, but it's going to be hard, I think, to beat the ones I just took. I'm a very happy man right now. All right, I've got a nice juicy composition here, but I'm going to have to wait until the clouds come over to, uh, to, to actually take the shot. Um, basically, you can see here, I've got this one tree here that's framing, its, it's fork frames the other tree, behind it, which also is forked. It's uh, really an interesting composition. I've got some fo red foliage behind, behind the, the one tree. Um, I've got this pre-framed as a one-to-one uh, -one composition, uh, but I may change that crop once, the, uh, once I actually take the shot. Unfortunately, as I said, the sun is out and the, li the light is very harsh. I'm gonna have to wait till the clouds come over. And once the clouds come over, I think it's gonna be a great shot. So. I'm just going to stand here and wait for the clouds to come over. All right, the cloud is just about in the right spot, so I'm going to take the shot. Now I'm going to take two exposures, one for the fore tree, one for the back tree. My exposure settings are 1 60th of a second F11 and ISO 800. Because I... St what a change my f-stop to, or uh, the ISO to 200 and do this again. That reduces my shutter speed to 1 20th of a second. So first, let me shoot my hand. Then again, four tree. Back tree. And I think that's going to be pretty good. And if it is, here's the shot. You'll notice how high the camera is mounted. This is the only way I could frame the back tree with the front tree, other than hand holding. Thank goodness for really tall tripods. I can only describe the colors I'm seeing today as riotous. That's the best word that comes to mind. All right, so I've got an intimate little scene framed here. Basically, it's a yellow leaf at the root of a tree 
with uh, some green moss and some red leaves around it. I'm focusing, actually I'm focusing first on the yellow leaf, but I think I'm going to actually focus stack this. I'm going to take a variety of shots at different points to make sure I have the whole scene in focus. But that yellow leaf is really the focus of the composition. And if this comes out nice, you'll see it right here. It was getting late in the day and increasingly sunny. I enjoyed just walking around and absorbing the scenery. I hoped to find another composition, but it was not to be. Well, my friends, it's about 12.45 in the afternoon. The sun has come out. It's beautiful for walking around and hiking, but for photography, it's not so much, especially for woodland. So I think I'm going to call it a day, but I thank you for joining me and sticking with me this far. And if you like what you're seeing and you want to see more and you're not already subscribed, give me a subscription and hit the notification bell that's right down here so that the next time you upload, you'll see it right away. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Until the next time, bye.